Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 17th of 2021. Well, it is titled M57, the Ring Nebula from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the objects of Charles Messier's catalog, and in fact, number 57 of objects in that catalog that were fuzzy objects that were actually not comets. And we know that that catalog now contains all sorts of different things from star clusters to nebulae to galaxies. And this is one example here, and this example is a nebula, and this is what is known as a planetary nebula. Now a planetary nebula has nothing to do with planets, although it may have looked like a planetary system forming with through a small telescope. We now know that instead of a planetary system forming, this is the end of the life of a star like our sun. And in fact, the vast majority of the stars in the universe will form something like this at the end of their lives. And what happens to stars is eventually they use up the hydrogen fuel in their core and that leaves them without an energy source and the inner core starts to contract down. As the core contracts the outer layers expand and the star will become a giant and then a super giant star. Eventually it will find new sources of energy generally in terms of fusing helium into carbon and oxygen. And for a star like our sun that will be about the end of it. And as the core contracts again, the outer layers will continue to expand and eventually become disconnected from the star itself. So essentially, we are seeing a star here. We are seeing one star. The central core is the white dot at the center. That is what is called a white dwarf star. It contains most of the mass of the star compacted down to about the size of Earth, essentially pushing atoms as close together as they possibly can be until their electrons in the atom start repelling each other and hold the star up against gravity. It will then become stable and no longer producing energy and will just remain there slowly cooling off over time. The outer layers expel out into space and we see those as the glowing colors around the central white dwarf star. So those were at one time the outer layers of the star expelled out into space and they are illuminated because that central core is so hot it emits a lot of ultraviolet radiation which ionizes the gases left around and causes them to glow. So the planetary nebula phase is a relatively short lived stage of the end of a star and short lived means it lasts a few tens of thousands of years. So it would not be you'd have to catch it at just the right time. Again, for us, tens of thousands of years sounds like a long, long time. But when we're talking for a star like our sun, which may take 10 to 11 billion years to go through its entire life from formation to death, this is a very short phase. So we're unlikely to see many stars within that phase. It's only the ones that we happen to catch at just the right time where we get to see a glimpse of what will happen to our sun in five or six billion years. So that was our picture of the day for August the 17th of 2021. It was titled M57, the Ring Nebula from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be rings upon ring. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.